Hello and welcome, it's Jelly Cube. I'm here today doing you a pour over some left with some leftover paints that I've been working with. Um, so I've got in there some like very pale grey, so it's literally white with a bit of black added. And now I'm adding a good squirt of black to make a marble effect for my background on this nice little brick canvas as I like to call them. It's got a nice deep edge. Um, so I'm going to do a marble background for um, to, for starters. So I'll just put that, I've put that black in there, given it a stir, and then I will do, um, add my other paints and do, give it a flip cup. And we'll see the absolutely gorgeous effect it leaves just with the marbling in this particular technique. So okay, I am not gonna do a flip cup, I'm gonna do a pour. So it's like a ribbon pour, figure eight over the canvas and then give it a nice tilt, cover the whole canvas. So you can change your mind, it's allowed. Wow, look at that gorgeous marbling on that. That is such a wonderful effect. I mean, you really could do a tabletop or a kitchen bench top or whatever with that wonderful effect and um, give it a resin over. It really would look like stone bench top. But um, I'm gonna add a pop now Welcome with some star, colors I have left over in the one corner. From so far away, show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. Just gave it a zip over with my heat wand. Oh, It'll help God. burst it's any so air bubbles. And it kind of helps the paint absorb like into the canvas, so that's a heat wand and not a hair dryer. So now for the good bits. When it's grey outside, it really makes me wonder. some navy there and that is a global color called Tahiti. I've used my global kiss pouring medium in these paints. Um, that is a custom color which is 50% gold, 50% metallic silver so it makes a lovely champagne gold. Another one of my favorites and then I'm going to add some cool red for the pop. It really makes me wonder Yeah, it makes me wonder It really makes me wonder Oh, I wonder doing that swipe in navy to pull some of those colors down the canvas but then the next bit will make those colors pop that I know are underneath there so we'll give it a little bit of a um, 
little wispy bits in here just to break it up I guess you can and can't I'm only here to give you ideas I'm not telling you that this is how it should be done just giving you ideas and you take from it what you choose and leave what you don't so easy peasy lemon squeezy I might I was thinking of giving this a blow with my hair dry but I think I'm gonna go just to the straw so that's just um you know a straw and it's a stainless steel straw with like a silicone end so it's kind of upside down to how you would use it for your drink but it sort of is breaking up um, that look at the bottom giving it a bit of a sort of bit of movement there so we'll just have a play with this but it's truly coming along beautifully stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are what makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of i wonder like me a little bit scared of heights why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside it really makes me wonder I think that balloon kisses just give it that pop look it's brought those colors up from underneath it's made it soft and um, botanical effect in there and it's it's really nice to have that marble effect background um, and I have done this on larger pieces as you, as you would have seen on past videos so I hope you like this one guys I'm um, just whizzing over with the heat wand again um, something dif different again doing the different background so have a look at the end photos and tell me what you think so take care my lovelies bye for now Where we are It really makes me wonder